Hi kindergarten friends, it's Mrs. Sutherland here. Today we are going to be doing a math lesson and talking about greater than, less than, and equal to. And I think Mrs. Henderley did another video about this and talked to you guys about it a little. So we are going to do some more practice with this today. So first we are going to look at two groups of things and we are going to try to figure out which um, is greater. So remember, greater means bigger or more. So we're going to look at two different things, and we're going to try to figure out which one has more in it or which one has a bigger number of things in it. Okay? So I have snails and bees on here. And we are going to, we want to know which one is greater than. So I'm going to count our snails. Count with me. How many snails do we have? One. So I'm going to write a 1 over here, and then we're going to count our bees. How many bees do we have? 1, 2. So I'm going to write a 2 over here. Okay, so which one is greater? Do we have more bees or more snails? We have more bees, right? Because 2 is the bigger number. So I'm going to go ahead and circle that. Okay, now we're going to do another one. Okay, so... Now we have some more. So look over here, and we want to know which one is greater. So I want you to count with me. Let's count our snails. One, two, three. We have three snails, so I'm going to write that over here. Um, right here. And we have how many bees? One, two. So I'm going to write our number of bees over here. So which one is bigger? Which one is greater? The number three is bigger, so that means the number of snails we have is greater than the number of bees we have. Okay, now we're going to count over here. Let's count our snails. One, two. Two snails. Two snails. And how many bees? One, two, three, four. Four bees. Four. So, which one is greater? Do we have more bees or snails? Bees, because four is a greater number than two. And so, we could say the number of bees we have is greater than the number of snails we have. Okay. Going to look at one more. Okay. So... Now let's count. How many snails do we have? One. We have one snail. Now let's count our bees. One, two, three, four. And we have four bees, so I'm going to write a number four. Okay, so which is greater, the number of snails or the number of bees? The number of bees is greater, right? Because four is a bigger number. There are more bees than there are snails on here. So I circled the four. Okay, now we are going to look at pictures and we want to know, we're gonna talk about which one is less so or fewer. So we want to know what of, which of these objects is less than. So when we say, when we're looking for less, that means smaller, the smaller number or um, just which has fewer, which group is smaller of our objects, okay? So we are going to count our snails first, ready? One, two, three, four. Oh, hold on. So we have four snails, so I'm gonna write the number four here. There, four. And now we are going to count our bees, ready? One, two, three, four, Five. We have five bees. So I'm going to write the number five here. Now, which, now we're looking for which is fewer. So which group has the smaller number of objects? Which group has less? 
the snails, right? Because four is smaller than five. So we could say that we have, that the number of snails we have is less than the number of bees we have. They are less than, okay. Now we're gonna do another one. Okay, okay two more. Okay, so let's count over here. We have, let's count our snails, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six snails. So I'm gonna write a number six way over here. It's kind of getting cut off. There we go. A six, and let's count our bees. One, two, three, four, five. We have five bees. So which one is less than? Which one are there less of? Bees or snails? Bees, because five is a smaller number than six. Five is less than six. Let's count our snails and our bees over here. Let's start with our snails, you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven snails. So I'm gonna write a number seven over here. See that? And now let's count our bees, ready? One, two, three. We have three bees. All right, so seven and three. Which number, which group has less? Which one is fewer? The bees, right? Three is less than seven. There are less bees than there are snails in this picture, right? All right, I think we have, we're gonna do one more. Okay. So, in this picture, let's count our snails first. Ready? One, two. We have two snails. And we have how many bees? One, two, three. Three bees. All right, so two and three. Which one is less than? Which group has less in it? The snails, right? We have less snails than we do bees. The number of snails is less than the number of bees on this in this picture. Okay, now we're going to do one more thing. We are going to look at um, if the groups of things that we're gonna look at, if they are equal to each other or not. And this is something new I don't think we've talked about before. So um, if I ask if something, if these two groups are equal to each other, I'm asking if they have the same number of things in them. So I want to know if there are the same number of sna snails as the number of bees, okay? So we're going to count our bees. One, oh, or snails, I mean. One, two. And how many, so we're gonna write the number two. Two, and what about number of bees? Ready, let's count. One, two. Two. So is the number of snails equal to the number of bees? Are these groups the same? Yes, we have the same number in them. They both have two in them. So we are going to draw a smiley face. So that, to say that they are equal to each other. There are two snails and two bees. Okay, now let's look at another one. Let's count our snails. One, two, three, four. We have four snails. And let's count our bees. One, two, three, four. We have four bees. Are these groups equal to each other? Do we have, so do we have the same number of snails as number of bees that we have? Yes, we have the same number in each group, right? There are four snails and four bees in this picture. So our groups are equal. We're going to make a smiley face. Couple more. 
All right, let's look at this picture over here. Let's count our snails. One, two, three, four, five. We have five snails. Let's count our bees now. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Five bees. So we're going to write a number five here for the bees. So we have five snails and five bees. Are the number of snails and the number of bees equal to each other? Yes, they are because they are the same number of snails as number of bees. So I'm going to write a smiley face over here. Okay, let's count this one. Ready? Let's count our snails. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six snails. And let's count our bees now. One, two, three. We have three bees. So are these groups equal? Do we have the same number of snails as the number of bees? No. We have six snails and three bees. So those numbers are different. So they are not equal. So I'm going to put a sad face over here. Because these are not equal groups. Can you guys tell me which group has more in it? Which group is greater than the other one? The snails are greater than the bees, right? Because there are more snails in this picture than there are bees. So six is the greater number. And if I asked which group has less than the other group, you could say what? Which one? The bees. Now you could say the number of bees is less than the number of snails, right? All right, so remember that greater than means more. So if, I, if, you're, if someone asks you if which one is greater, you wanna look for the bigger number. If someone asks you which one is less, then you want to find the smaller number or the one that there is less of in the group. And if someone asks if something is equal to another thing, then that means they want to know if there are the same number in both groups that you are looking at. So if in our practice there were the same number of snails and bees we were trying to figure out. All right. Have a good day, friend.